Alright, welcome to the um, Memphis Grizzlies franchise. Now, this is the offseason. Westbrook won MVP, Doncic Rookie of the Year. Um, Schroeder, six man, green, defense player, most improved is Capella, surprisingly. And Steve Kerr, coach of the year. No surprise there. You went 27 and 55. You're seeing the all NBA teams. We're on the all NBA second team. I don't know about that one. Um, all defensive team. We got um Jaron Jackson Jr. on all defensive second um, all rookie second team. And that that team and Grizzly we had. And this is the playoffs. The Heat made it to the sixth seed. Alright, how how did they do that? Obviously we didn't make playoffs. Pretty simple. Did the Heat won forty seven games? Bro, why can't that happen in real life? Damn Dion's eighty two, Winslow's in eighty two. Um Ingram dropped eighteen, almost nineteen game. Smith had fourteen, about four. With Steele. Jackson had 13 and a half, five rebound. Steele in a block and a half. Young, backup point guard, had about 10. And the Raptors do win in seven against the Warriors. Kawhi gets his, his revenge against the Warriors. And one thing I spot, Dwayne Lee retired after the first season. That almost never happens. Now, obviously, Udonis has him retired with them. Um, Dirk, Wade, Vince, no Manu went to the Hall of Fame. Here's your retirement, obviously. Mondo got retired, Wade, and I think that was Dirk. Um, there was no rule changes I wanted to mess with. There was nothing here that was interesting. We, I don't think we have our draft pick. I think the Celtics have. Oh! No, we do! We have the third pick and the 16th. That's clutch. I thought we didn't have our pick this year. That's why I traded for the um, Pistons pick. That, right now, I'm trading Lure and Galloway for two firsts to get rid of Cap. This is a mix of realistic and fantasy. Doesn't really matter. Zion got picked first. What else is new? The Suns are going to pick Ja Morant. Yeah, they're going to pick Ja Morant. They got their point guard. And I am looking at RJ Barrett right now. Because we don't have a shooting guard. I forget who we're shooting. Oh, KCP was our shooting guard, but I'm obviously not bringing him back. So I'm look, I am more than likely going to draft RJ Barrett. I also can um Dubia and Reddish. But I think I'm going to ultimately go, yeah, I'm going to go with um, Barrett. So we got possible pick three here. Right now I'm trading um, the 16th pick for DJ Wilson and Thon Maker. That, so Thon and even Rap are going to be fighting for that center spot. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. This is just a future plan. I want, I hope Thon can do good. But we're doing that. Um, I'm going to accept Ingram. I'm going to accept all those options, obviously. I don't see us getting a free agent. Because I don't see anyone really wanting to come into Memphis. I don't see, so I think this team is going to be built thoroughly on trades and the draft. Because I don't see anyone wanting to sign here. I did sign Kelly Oubre, who is going to stay on the team. And I signed Bobby Portis for a trade that you're going to see in just a little bit. Kelly Oubre will be our backup shooting guard. If you move in the shooting guard, his posi um, position, his overall, not position, doesn't change. We do get Josh Jackson for... Bobby Portis, a 2021 Warriors pick, and I think that was um, DJ Wilson. So Josh Jackson will be our backup small forward. Uber will be our backup shooting guard. We just need a backup power forward, and the team's complete for next season. I don't expect this team to make a major push for the playoffs, but I could see around maybe a 10th or 11th seed, close to an 8, but we are in the West, so. Um, Brandon Ingram and Jaron Jackson are tied for the top player at 82. RJ's an 80, Dennis Smith's a 78, Uber's a 78. Jack Jackson went actually going up two and he's a 76 now. That was pretty clutch. Even Rab's a 74. He's going to be our starting center to start off the season. Um, Maker's the same overall. He got B minus three. So we are going to send Josh Jackson to untapped potential and I think Jaron Jackson Jr. No, no, no. We're going to send Thon, not Jaron. Jaron doesn't need it. So our potential big three, we're going to have. Brandon Ingram is the first scoring option, and that's it. It's just going to be Brandon Ingram, and everyone else can score freely. I sure I made a Jaron Jackson not thinking about it, but it's fine. Potential big three of Jackson, Ingram, and Smith, and Bear, so potential big four. So I'm going to jump into this Clippers game. I'm only going to show two plays because we ended up losing. It wasn't very close. As literally the first play I come in, they're giving Dennis Smith space for the three. And Dennis Smith isn't a good shooter from mid or three, so it's pretty surprising. Uh, as you see, we're down by 14. This is 40 seconds left. I was just trying to chuck up shots with Ingram because he only had 14 points. 
So right here you see me trying to check up a shot. Richon Holmes are there for the contests. And so then Smith ended up with 22 points. Jackson, 17, 8, 3 steals and a block. That's pretty nice. Ingram only had 14. Finney Smith had 12. So the team played overall good except for Barrett. Grab with two blocks. All right. Thon, 5, 7, and 2 steals. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new in. That's it. GG.